Hi guys, so it's day six here in Uganda and although it's a snake expedition, there are a lot of other very cool creatures out here that we've spotted. Uh, the two creatures I want to speak about today are some of my favorite, they're chameleons and the two species that we found is the Elliot's chameleon and the helmeted chameleon. Now they both occur in a little bit different habitats here. The Elliot chameleon lives in much shorter shrubs in kind of very open uh, little fields whereas the helmeted chameleon lives in and around the village here in little shrubs and bushes and seems to enjoy being in and around the villages due to probably a lot of insects and flies and uh, little bugs that actually come around the village and around the little huts and houses. So I was able to find these guys very quickly because I mean we are staying here in the campsite and they've been kind of frequenting the couple of bushes around there so I'm quite familiar as to where to find them but I wanted to show you guys how beautiful they are. So we'll start with the little one. You can see he's a little bit stressed out compared to when I found him. He's uh, going a little bit more black. The female here is a lot more relaxed than the male. She's a lot lighter coloration. Uh, you can see the little nose and rostrum on the front. As we know chameleons change color. There's a little bit of a sexual dimorphism between the two. You can see the male is quite a dark color, quite green and he's really puffing himself up now to make himself look a lot bigger. The female, as you can see, is a lot more relaxed, but she's a light creamy color. And then this little juvenile is, uh, they're usually a little bit more cryptically colored, a lot more brown, and they come into their adult coloration as they get a bit older. So he's gonna try and hide as much as he can. You can see he's a little bit more nervous than the adults are. She's very relaxed, but they're both, you can see, they're widening their bodies, they're fattening themselves to make themselves seem more impressive. This guy as well, you can see he's really kind of in a stance to be like, leave me alone, stay away. And they will actually bite if, if I come too close. He'll open his mouth and you see he'll want to, he wants to display and he'll be like, leave me alone. I don't, want to, I don't want anything to do with you. So they don't get much bigger than this. They average between kind of 10 to 17 centimeters in size. These are also not territorial chameleons. They're actually very happy to live in small family groups. As you can see, they don't bother each other here too much. Um, actually, where, where we're staying at the moment, there's around probably 10 to 15 of these little guys just crawling around the village property that we're living in. And they're absolutely amazing. They keep all the little insects and flies away. Very, very, very cool little animals. Chameleons, as we know, are color changes, but they don't change color according to what they're sitting on. They change color according to their mood. So if a chameleon's angry or it's feeling threatened, it will darken itself. If it's feeling happy or territorial towards another animal, it will flash its bright colors. And then obviously they also use it to warm up during the morning. So on very, very cool mornings, chameleons will go a very dark color to attract the sun and to warm themselves up quickly. And then once they've reached optimal temperature, they'll hit their camouflage stage and start cruising around and looking for insects. Now at night as well, very interestingly, most chameleons, they will head over to the smallest, tiniest little branch or leaf. These little guys at night, you actually find them clinging onto the inside fold of the leaves and they go onto the extremities of the branches and whatnot to be able to um, keep away from predators. Now you can see the female here is getting into the male space and he's not too happy about it. Um, but I will put them back very shortly. Also, they're of least concern. There's no environmental threat to these guys. These guys, distribution-wise, they occur in lowland shrubs, woodland areas, and uh, kind of more high, high savanna, uh, which is where we are at the moment. They live to around 10, 15 years old. Bigger chameleons are known to actually feed on smaller chameleons. These species probably not. Now these are called helmeted uh, chameleons. You can see they've both got little rostrums on their nose, the males and the females. The males' rostrums get a little bit bigger uh, than the females. They're viviparous animals, uh, so meaning they give birth to live young anywhere between kind of six to 12 offspring will be born, and they will be little miniature replicas of their parents, like you can see this little guy. And you can see how dark he's gone, that means he's a bit more stressed than these ones. And you can see the males actually calm down a little bit, his colors have settled. So at night, they actually completely lighten themselves and become almost a luminous color. So if you walk around at night with a torch, they're actually very easy to spot. 
I hope you guys have learned something about these amazing little species. Um, they least threatened. They are found in the pet trade, but please don't buy wild caught species. Hi guys, so here's the beautiful little Elliot's chameleon. This is the second little species that occurs out here in Uganda. The first species was the helmeted that I just showed you. And we've walked out to this uh, kind of very low shrubby field that where we've spotted them at night. And I was lucky enough to find one of them. I looked for another 15 or 20 minutes for a second one to see if I could get a female and show you the difference. But they're really, really difficult to find. So this is the Elliot's chameleon. They're very similar to the dwarf chameleons that I've seen down in South Africa. The two I've experienced, there's the Midlands Dwarf as well as the Nizer Dwarf Chameleon. They have a very similar body structure and very, very beautiful chameleon. Now these Elliot Chameleon have got the white little stripe down the both flanks of their bodies, as well as if I touch him a little bit, you'll see he'll flank up his mouth and he's got these two rather black dots on his neck under his throat. Now he's just displaying a bit, saying, leave me alone, I'm angry but he's actually a very relaxed little chameleon. So now these guys don't get much bigger than this. This is almost fully grown, the average between kind of eight to 12, 13 centimeters. And these are also viviparous. They, live, they give birth to live young. We've seen a couple youngsters here as well. They're really, really beautiful. They sit out here in these lowland shrubs and fields and they feed on all the little insects and things that breed around here. I've spoken to William as to why we don't find little chameleons in the jungle in the forest when we've been looking around and more so around the village. Chameleons are actually very well adapted to more dry and arid regions. They get a lot of their moisture content from their food as well as in the morning when it's a little bit cooler some dew will settle either on their skin or on the leaves around them and they'll lick it off themselves or off the branches and the, the shrubs that they're sleeping in. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit that like button and if you want to watch the Jameson's Mamba video, I'll hit a link up there or in the description below. I'll see you next time. If you want to see more species we encounter out here in Uganda, please do subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.